Print your photos. Why every photographer should print their images out. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing right. My name's Matt. This is Dwyer Creatives and it's time for Two Minute Tuesday. So this Two Minute Tuesday, I just want to go over why I think every photographer should print out their images. Now, I think printing your images out and having them physically in front of you gives you a different perspective than it would seeing it on the screen and it gives you a different appreciation for that. You know, if you're seeing these printed out in front of you, if you're using any decent printer, even if you're getting them printed at like CVS, Walgreens or something like that, you're gonna get these textures and colors and tones that you wouldn't get replicated on say your phone. Now, for me, something I like to do is when I have my photos out in front of me and late, say I need to put together something for a client, or a portfolio, maybe I wanna just make a photo book or a zine or something. Having those physically out in front of me allows me to be a little bit more critical of those images. In a broader sense, are all these images cohesive? It also allows you to look for redundancies in those images that you may not have caught on your computer or your phone when you're trying to cull through them. If you are a professional and you are bringing portfolios digitally to your clients, I think if you do have those face-to-face -face meetings, having these physically printed out in a portfolio or a book or something to show your work just adds that little bit of extra professionalism and premium to what you're bringing to the table. Now, the next reason why I think that you should print your images out is to hang them around your house or put them around your office. It'll give you a different perspective, literally a different perspective to it as you're seeing them across the room, maybe at different angles, at different lighting, depending on what time of day it is. At least for me, it gives you a better appreciation of your work and just keeps me inspired to go out and keep shooting. Now, the last thing, cause I'm trying to stay under that two minutes for two minute Tuesday is gonna be creating a physical backup. If you are a business professional, having a physical hard backup may be something that you wanna consider. Again, having your work in different books so that you can hand out the clients, but also in, just in case maybe sir, or some freak accident, all your hard drives get wiped out and you're not backed up to a server anywhere. You know, things happen. Or if you're like me, I wanted to document more in my life. So I picked up the Fujifilm X105 or this one, which is the six. I have these to document more of my everyday life. And what I've done now is I'm trying to every month get all of those images printed out. I'm going to be putting them into photo albums. So I have those to look back and reference on, but also to relive that nostalgia. Like I'm in my mid thirties and every year is just moving faster and faster. I'll take an example. So. A few weeks ago, I was at Coffee and Octane, which were these photos, which I just got today. I also started looking through some of my photos that I took back at a Toyota event back in November. And it just really took me right into that moment of my wife and I taking that trip, and then meeting new friends and seeing old friends. And for me, a lot of nostalgia that it brings up. So maybe use it for that. Create those photo albums, create those photo books. Maybe that's something you pass on to your kids and your grandkids. It's just something that you can use to create that physical backup and part of your documenting process. Blew by that two minutes again. I'm just gonna end this right here pretty much. Just real quick though, few recommendations. CVS, Walgreens, grab their discounts or coupons. I've been able to get, you know, hundreds and hundreds of prints done for super cheap. Or if you're like me, what I've been doing lately is just free prints every month. You get X amount of images and you just have to pay shipping. So yeah, those are just a few reasons why I think every photographer should print out their images. If you have any additional questions or comments, leave those down below in the comment section. And, you know, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.